comedic crime drama, mind-bending sci-fi, a breathtaking historical epic, and more in today's video. Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today's episode features some of the greatest new series on streaming. If you like it, please consider subscribing, and don't forget to keep an eye out for updates. Make yourself comfortable, and have a great time watching. For fans of Guy Ritchie's signature style, Netflix's The Gentleman offers a darkly comedic crime drama. The series centers on Eddie Horniman, an estranged son who inherits his aristocratic father's estate, only to discover a surprising secret. The estate is the very center of a drug empire. Angered by this unexpected inheritance, Eddie tries to sell the business and get out of the criminal underworld. The Gentleman promises a thrilling journey as Eddie navigates the dangerous underbelly of London. The series is a riveting mix of suspense, sharp wit, and high-stakes confrontation. While some critics have found the plot formulaic, the series has entertainment value and Richie's distinctive directorial approach. The true strength of The Gentleman, however, lies in its cast. If you're a fan of Richie's trademark elements, witty dialogue, ruthless British gangsters, and a dash of dark humor, The Gentleman is a surefire binge-watch. Netflix's new series Three Body Problem explores the disturbing possibility of alien contact gone wrong. Adapted from Sikshin Liu's acclaimed Hugo Award-winning trilogy, the series follows a group of scientists investigating a wave of mysterious unexplained deaths among their colleagues. Their investigation takes an unexpected turn when they discover a message left in the form of an ultra-realistic virtual reality video game in which the scientists must save a planet with a highly unstable climate. Behind the scenes, Three Body Problem boasts an impressive team. David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, the creative minds behind HBO's Game of Thrones, reunite for this project along with writer Alexander Wu. This collaboration promises to be a visually stunning and intellectually stimulating exploration of first contact. Fans of the book series have praised the faithfulness of the adaptation, while others are curious to see how the show will tackle the complex themes explored in the novels. Three Body Problem offers a compelling narrative that will leave you pondering the possible consequences of an encounter with alien intelligence. The new miniseries, Shogun, is based on the novel of the same name by James Clavell. The novel was previously adapted into a 1980 miniseries starring Toshiro Mifune. The 2024 adaptation promises to be more faithful to the source material. The story follows John Blackthorne, an English sailor shipwrecked in Japan in the year 1600. Blackthorne is taken prisoner by a local lord and must learn to adapt to the strict social hierarchy of feudal Japan. As Blackthorne becomes increasingly involved in Japanese politics, he finds himself caught in the middle of a power struggle between rival clans. Shogun boasts stunning visuals, captivating performances, and well-written dialogue. Critics hail it as both entertaining and educational, offering a glimpse into a captivating era of Japanese history. This promising new miniseries delivers a visually stunning and epic saga. Unfortunately, or fortunately, the creators of the series have already announced that they are not planning a second season regardless of the success of the TV show. Shogun will show us exactly and only the adaptation of the famous novel. Monarch Legacy of Monsters This sci-fi series, created by Chris Black and Matt Fraction, takes place within the Godzilla universe established in the 2014 film. We follow Monarch, a secretive organization dedicated to studying colossal creatures known as Titans. The story unfolds across two timelines. The present features a family grappling with the aftermath of a monstrous showdown, and the flashbacks peel back the layers of Monarch's history, revealing their past encounters with Titans and the organization's very foundation. Legacy of Monsters boasts jaw-dropping visuals that bring these titans to life. Action sequences are intense and pulse-pounding, but beyond the spectacle, Monarch offers a compelling narrative. It delves into the character's connection to Monarch, exploring the weight of this legacy and the organization's role in protecting humanity. Masters of the Air, a new miniseries from Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks that chronicles the harrowing missions of the U.S. Army Air Force's 8th Air Force bomber crews during World War II. The series follows the 100th Bomb Group, a real-life unit that flew B-17 Flying Fortress aircrafts on perilous missions over Nazi-occupied Europe. The story focuses on the camaraderie and resilience of these airmen as they face the dangers of combat, the ever-present threat of flak and enemy fighters, and the mental and physical toll of these long-range missions deep into enemy territory. By the way, the flight scenes for Masters of the Air were filmed using a cutting-edge technology known as the volume. This technique, familiar to fans of The Mandalorian, utilizes replica suspended on gimbals within a 360-degree stage filled with LED screens. This creates a realistic and immersive environment for the actors 
which has a positive impact on the quality of the acting. Now, while reviews praise the series for its historical accuracy, its portrayal of the harrowing realities of war and the outstanding performances of the cast, some have noted a slower pace compared to other epics. Don't expect the same scope and depth of story as Band of Brothers and The Pacific. Even though those titles are on the main poster, this series is simpler and less sweeping. Still, it's another epic masterpiece of war cinema. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and click the buttons below the player. And see you in the next issue.